Colts at the Dolphins as we sit right now. Two and a half, two, one and a half, two point favorites are the Dolphins at home over the Colts. A total very low in today's NFL of 42 or 42 and a half. Uh, Brad has a bet on this one. Steven has one of our writers that has a, an angle on this thing. Brad, we'll start with you. You are in on the Colts here. Explain yourself. Uh, yeah, well, 0-3 start. Everyone's kind of burying the Colts. Um, and I, I, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think, I don't think, I think they're being downgraded too much here. So they've, the defense for one has faced the hardest schedule of opposing offenses in the league. Um, they faced the Ram. They will so say, let's start with the Seahawks. They, they faced the Seahawks. Seahawks came in with a new offensive coordinator, brand new scheme. They, they you know, it's, it's tough to prepare for that. Mm-hmm. Rams come in there, brand new quarterback playing, you know, a different scheme that again, the Colts haven't really seen. Um, and then last week the Titans got them. Um, and the Titans didn't do too much, but uh, obviously the Colts had a quarterback with two uh, two sprained ankles, and and he didn't really help anyone out. So I, I think the defense is much better than it's been given credit for at the minute. You know, they they've still got the likes of DeForest Buckner up front, um, and I really think he's going to cause some mayhem against this Dolphins offensive line, which is 28th in the NFL in, in pass block win rate. Um, and we spoke about this last week, Brissett. Um, you know, I thought I, I thought the combination of Brissett and that offensive line was going to be a bad one last week. They kind of got away with it. Obviously, they you know mm-hmm. they they drove down the field late, converted two fourth downs. I, I had the Raiders there, so that cost me cost me some money. <laughs> um, but you know, basically throughout the game, I, I was I was watching that closely. His his average depth of target midway through the third quarter was two yards, right? Yeah. And it, yeah. You know, he, he improved it late when they were driving down the field. But again, throughout the, the entire game, their success rate for the game was 39%. Like, they played badly. I think it was 4.4 yards per attempt or so. Like, they, they weren't good. And now, again, it's on tape. The Colts are going to know that that's, that's how they're planning to play this. It's going to be dump-offs and, and this kind of thing. So I think they can adjust for that. And I, I can see them holding them quite well in check. Um, as for the Colts' offense... I think they might be a little bit underrated as well. So they're, they're 12th in the NFL in early down success rate, but they've been terrible on, on, on third down and fourth down, and they've been terrible in the red zone. Um, so we should expect some regression there. So to me, it, it, it did come down to, do I want to go under? Because, you know, do I want Wentz on side or do I want to take the Colts uh, plus the two or in the first half plus one? Um, I, I think any of those three options are pretty good because I, I don't really see the Dolphins having that much offensive success. Steven, uh, I think if there is a game in the entire week that I could, if someone said you can o- you can pass one game and pretend it never happened on the week of the NFL, I think this one would be it for me. I uh, <laughs> don't really have any idea how I, I would attack, how I would tackle this thing, how I would go about it. You don't have a bet in, but you do say that one of our our senior writers at least has an angle that he was looking at. Yeah, Mo Nawara likes Indy plus eight as a teaser leg, considering it has a very low total of 42 against the bad Miami offense. So here's a stat, guys, that tells you basically the state of the Dolphins offense right now. Jalen Waddell had 12 receptions on 13 targets last week for 58 yards. Yeah. Like, holy, that's that's a that's a running back line. That's like a Najee Harris Pittsburgh Steelers line, and it's a wide receiver. So I like the teaser angle here that Mo has in D plus eight. Yeah, that was that was, you know, they, they basically were trying to use him as the extension of the run game, just like throwing it to him at the line of scrimmage repeatedly over and over and over again. And shocker, whenever you do it too many times, it ends up not working. 